What's going on guys? Welcome to another uh, Python mathematics and charting stock indicators tutorial video. Uh, the last videos that we just made were the Arun uh, indicators, right? So this is where we left off. And that Arun indicator gave us something like this when we ran it. Right. So we had this. And actually let me change this. Let's go, uh, let me change this back to 10 years, not just one year. 10 year data. Run it one more time. Apple. And here's our indicator. So, so this is what the Arun indicator had been giving us. Now, um, the next thing is the Arun oscillator. And luckily, the difference between the Arun indicator and the Arun, Arun oscillator is so minute that I'm just going to do it all in this same video. So the idea of the Arun oscillator is the same as the indicator. The only difference is to, is to kind of combine these two things into one thing and then you just usually fill between. You could just make it a single line, but generally people fill between because the uh, it's not necessarily a directional indicator, it's more of like an intensity indicator. So you wouldn't want it to just be a single line, you kind of want to use a fill between just to kind of bring that point home. But anyway, um, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. The calculation for it is simply the high minus the low. That's it. And then the rest of it is just kind of um, some matplotlib coding to get it to fill in between. Short enough for me to do it in this video. Now a couple quick uh, images of what we'll be doing. That was just the regular, like this is the image of what we just made. Right, this is your Arun, uh, normal typical Arun uh, indicator. And this would be a typical Arun oscillator, right? So you've got the uh, high minus the low. Obviously, as it's going up, you're going to see it, you know, uh, it goes up like this. And sure enough, it's that way until it reaches this point, kind of low, then back up again. And then again, at about this point, just after it starts saying, hey, watch out. And sure enough, there it goes all the way down. Now, the next thing I would like to do is change this and use fill between to make up green down red just to make it even more clear. So that'll look more like this. And uh, so we'll be doing that uh, now within matplotlib. So uh, let me just um, we'll stop this from running. Uh, and we'll come over here and go down to uh, where we actually coded this, which will be here. Now, what we all we need to do is create a couple of new things. We're going to need to make a new array for one. So we're going to want an uh, Arun oscillator array. That'll be an empty array for now. And then we need to start populating it. So within this while loop, we'll want to uh, call the Arun oscillator. So we're just going to give it a simple variable here, Arun underscore OSC. And that's going to equal um, Arun underscore up minus Arun underscore down. So that's really all the calculation required for the Arun oscillator, which is why I'm just going to go ahead and condense it into one video. After we have defined it, we're going to append it to this one. So I'm just going to copy that, hit paste, dot append, and append Arun underscore osc. That's it. Now, uh, when we go to return, we want to just add that to the end. So we'll also return, uh, and I'll just paste again since it's still there, Arun Oscillator. Now, when we come down here and we uh, say what this function is going to spit out, we need to add one more variable, and that's going to be AO for Arun Oscillator. Now I'm going to go ahead and silence these two bad boys because we don't need them anymore. And now we need to do a fill between function. So the simple fill between, um, where it's not colored, would be ax2.fill underscore between, and between what? A date minus sp colon. Uh, that's your y, or your x rather. Your y variable is going to be ao minus sp colon. Then we want to fill between what? Well, the zero line is, is the kind of the fill between line there. And then uh, we're going to make the face color equal to just a non-discrete white. And we're going to give it an alpha equals 0 .0, or 0 0.5. And that just kind of, alpha is the measure of how opaque something is. So the more opaque, the more transparent. 
or the less opaque, the more transparent. There we go. Save that. Uh, looks good. Let's go ahead and run it, see if uh, we uh, did everything right. Bring it over. We'll plot Apple. Sure enough, we did everything right. We've got Apple here. That oscillator is all fine and dandy. Now let's go ahead and talk about how we could color it if we wanted to. Uh, we'll do this. Close out of that. So to change this, we really, uh, let's say we want to do the upward one first. I'm just going to delete all the way back to this zero mark. Now you add a function here called where equals something. And what we want to do is where AO minus SP colon is greater than, uh, greater than or equal to uh, zero. We would like that face color to be green. And uh, then we want the alpha again equals 0.5. Close off your parentheses there. Now, we can't run this just yet because this where clause is going to require a NumPy array. It can't just be a, a Python list. So what we've got to do now is turn this AO into a NumPy array. Luckily, it's really simple. It's just np.array. And just in case, all the way to the minus SP part in that, and you're all set. Now, what I want to go ahead and do is we're just going to highlight this entire line, copy, move back over, paste, change this to red, change this to uh, less than or equal to zero, and that's it. Now let's go ahead and save that, run that, plot up, uh, again we'll just do Apple. And here is our new uh, Arun oscillator uh, that's color coded now. So it just looks just slightly better, in my honest opinion. And it's a lot more um, clear to anybody who's looking at it what this actually means. So, anyway, that's the uh, conclusion to my uh, short tutorial on the Arun oscillator, short enough so we can just jam it all into one video. Pretty cool little. Uh, Thing you can do here with it. It makes just the chart that much better and a lot more clear to actually read for somebody. So anyway, hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.